We are now watching a wonderful performance of Steve Martin, a man who surfaced from the underground. The second cousin to boredom is subtlety. He crossed that thin line, which is a highway to most people. Please welcome once again, and let's sneak in on the seventh hole of this wonderful match and watch Steve Martin. Steve Martin. Okay, we're having a good time now. <laughs> Isn't that... Isn't that happy? When you're with me, it's like being at Shakey's Pizza all the time. Everybody sing along. Away down upon the Swanee. They just like to keep their humor rolling. Right. Yeah. Shoelace is untied. <laughs> oh, I love playing jokes on myself. <laughs> well, here's something you don't often see. <laughs> okay, I'm, um... I'm sure a lot of you people are wondering if... if Steve Martin is my real name. Uh, whether I've changed it for show business or anything like that. I'm not ashamed to admit it, I have changed my name, and uh, there's a reason for that. My real name is... Uh, <laughs> so my parents had a sense of humor, and my sister's name is... <laughs> my mother would go out to call us for dinner, and she'd go... <laughs> That's why we got kicked out of the neighborhood. So. See. A lot of parents forget that kids grow up and they give them kid names. You know, it's like, oh, Puddinghead. Come on over here, Puddinghead. How old are you now? I'm 42. I... <laughs> Professor Puddinghead. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you something. Names are so important. If you, if you have some money and you want to put it in a bank, you're going to put it in a place with a big name, you know, like Security First Trust and Federal Reserve. And you're going to pass on the places like Fred's Bank. <laughs> Hey, come on in, I'm Fred. Give me your money, I'll put it right here. I got it for you. 1,500? <laughs> Shake on it, pal, I'll give it back. <laughs> There's a, I got a great dirty trick you can play on a three-year-old kid. <laughs> See, kids learn how to talk from listening to their parents. You know, they hang around and when finally they get it and they go, mama, oh, congratulations. So what you do, if you have a three-year-old kid and you want to play a dirty trick on him, whenever you're around him, you talk wrong. So now it's like his first day in school, you know, and he raises his hand. Man, Mambo dog face with the banana patch. <laughs> Give that kid a special test. <laughs> okay, guys, turn around. Excuse me. I have this water out here just in case. You know how it is when you when you go to a party or something and you don't you don't have a drink in your hand and you feel kind of awkward, you just you feel like the wife of Bozo, and your hands are this big, and you're trying to figure out what to do with them, and you're going, oh, well, how's it, um, <clears throat> what's been happening? Uh, as soon as you get a drink, you know, it's like, thank you. <laughs> See, and I meet girls this way, by looking cool. You know what I mean? It's like, the important thing is a great opening line. First, first you spot the girl, you know. I make a lot of money. I just bought me a new car. Pretty excited about it, too. It's a prestige car. 65 Greyhound bus. Put a lot of money into that baby, too, you know. Put a new dog on the side. You can get up to 30 tons of luggage in one of those things. Yeah, but I make my money in the stock market. 
I don't know if you know anything about the stock market or not, but if you do, you'll appreciate this. So. I bought cardboard when it was 14 cents a ton. <laughs> and it's up to 16 cents now. Oh, no. Well, let's see, I bought three tons of it, so that would be <laughs> Well, you figure it out. <laughs> When I bought it, I made a special deal where I only had to keep two tons of it at my house. <laughs> so listen, uh, you wanna come over to my place? Well, look, uh, just in case hell does freeze over, where can I reach you? 